A README file helps identify what your project is about and often includes some level of documentation. Now you don't have to include the entire documentation here because GitHub has a wiki feature for this which is a lot more organized. Now as you can already see, we already have a README file from when we first created our repo, but we're going to add some content to it and then push it up. Readme files are written in Markdown, which is a text to HTML language, and it's really popular and widely supported. Basically, you write the text and it's parsed to HTML like you can see here. If you already know Markdown, you can probably skip this as I'm mainly just going to be adding some Markdown and pushing the changes up to GitHub. So let's look at what we have in our readme by default. It's just a title here, which is... Uh, above these equal signs and a short paragraph, which is the description that we provided when we created our repo. Now I'm gonna add uh, another paragraph and I'm gonna add some examples. So here's another paragraph and let's add a code example. And let's add a numbered list. So this is a list. And we can do bullet points like so. You get the idea. So you can go ahead and look up the Markdown syntax, which will let you format the README for your project in any way you want. Um, you can include links as well, so like so and they'll be uh, parsed automatically to links that you can click unless you want text-based links in which case you do some square brackets what you want the link to appear as and then in uh, curly um, normal parentheses you just put the link in there so we run git status so we can go ahead and add this check that's been uh, committed uh, check that's been um, staged and then we can go ahead and commit. There we are. So if we push this into our details, cool. So we've now pushed this up. If we head over to our repo and check, you can see that we have nicely formatted content. Great, so now we've added a README file to our repo.